Hello for everyone. Today we will talk about mechanical engineering. What is mechanical engineering? What do mechanical engineers do? What courses do mechanical engineers major take? What skills you need? How much they earn? And etc. Let's start. Okay. Slides are ready, I think. Okay. Mechanical engineering is one of the broadest engineering disciplines. It provides the foundation for almost all other engineering majors. Mechanical engineers are people who think outside the box to develop solutions to everyday problems. Technically, mechanical engineering is the application of the principles and problem-solving techniques of engineering from design to manufacturing to the marketplace for any object. Mechanical engineers analyze their work using the principles of motion, energy, and force, ensuring that designs function safely, efficiently, and reliably, all at a competitive cost. Next slide. Next slide. Big questions. Where will we get all the energy we need? How can we feed a growing population? How do we live? more sustainably when will we put people on mars what will keep our infrastructure secure mechanical engineers will help find the answers to these big questions and more and not just through technical expertise the best answers will arrive in a spark of inspiration because mechanical engineers are the inventors who turn ideas into reality mechanical engineering is the study of objects and systems in motion in a word, mechanical engineers create. They do this all over the world, and almost every industry you can think of relies on mechanical engineering to thrive. That's why there is such a huge global demand for mechanical engineers and why they're paid so well. And next slide. What do mechanical engineers do? Mechanical engineering combines creativity, knowledge, and analytical tools to complete the difficult task of shaping an idea into reality. Mechanical engineers work in, um, in more fields than you can imagine. If it's a machine, you can be sure that a mechanical engineer has had something to do with designing it, constructing a prototype, testing it, perfecting it, and rolling it out on the production line. Some mechanical engineers may even be involved in marketing or selling it. As a mechanical engineer, you'll need to research and develop products. For example, mechanical hearts, if working in the medical industry, improve production processes, such as those in large oil refineries or services within buildings. Design and implement cost-effective equipment modifications to help improve safety and reliability. Develop a project specification with colleagues often including those from other engineering disciplines. Develop and use new materials and technologies, manage people, projects, and resources. This will depend on the role, on your role. Develop, test, and evaluate theoretical designs. Discuss and solve complex problems with manufacturing departments, subcontractors, suppliers, and customers. Make sure a product can be made reliable and will perform consistently in specified operating environments. Yes. Next slide is coming. Where do mechanical engineers work? Mechanical engineers work all over the world. It's one of the rare professions where you really can work anywhere. Mechanical engineers create prosthetic limbs, they design new technology to improve food production, invent 3D printers and wireless chargers, and develop better water supplies. They even create robotic manufacturing plants, and yes, they also make fast cars, faster planes, and even faster rockets. I can give you some examples of the industries you could be working in as a mechanical engineer. Sorry. Okay. Yes, it's coming. 
Aerospace. Aerospace engineers are all about flight, whether that's planes, missiles, or rockets. They design more fuel efficient aircraft that cut emissions, build the fleets of satellites that power modern GPS technology, and create the next generation of spacecraft for missions to Mars and beyond. The next one is automotive. Mechanical engineers drive the automotive industry from 80 seater buses to single seat F1 cars. They design body shells, wheel sets, and combustion systems for every type of moving vehicle. It's not all traditional fuels either. Automobile engineers work with solar panels, hydrogen cells, and other technologies to find better ways to keep people moving. Next area is biomedical. Uh, working in the biomedical industry, um, mechanical engineers change lives. They create better more lifelike artificial limbs to improve quality of life for injured and disabled people. Pacemakers, artificial valves, and even robotic surgical assistants are all the work of mechanical engineers, as are the running blades used at Paralympic events. And yes, the next one is construction and building. Major construction projects depend on mechanical engineers to focus on the details. This could mean designing the heating, cooling, and ventilation systems for a 28-story hotel, choosing the best way to deliver main gas to an entire housing estate, or making sure a new metro tunnel project incorporates other services to make the most of under this space. The next one is manufacturing. Yes, it's coming. Mechanical engineers make manufacturing happen, whether it's high volume, mass produced goods, or specialist ultra tech equipment. They create the machines and technology that design and produce the goods our growing population relies on. And power, of course. The work of mechanical engineers powers the world. It's up to them to generate and deliver the energy we need. This could mean designing nuclear power plants or biomass boilers, planning new long distance grid connections, or storing power sustainably in solar storage cells or giant hydroelectric batteries buried under mountains. Yes, next slide. Consulting. Once mechanical engineers have gained significant on-the-job experience uh, and developed a high level of expertise, they might choose to work for themselves as consultants or independent contractors. Here they can work on projects of their choosing for clients they respect. The consulting field offers opportunities in large and small engineering service firms and in private practice. Next one is nuclear engineer. The design of nuclear power plants requires the service of mechanical engineer. The engineer must understand the fundamentals of nuclear design, know how to operate the plant efficiently, and evaluate the environmental factors associated with nuclear plants. Robotics engineer. A mechanical engineer may design machines that build other machines. For instance, a robotics engineer may be involved with creating the devices that are used in assembling automobiles. Engineers are concerned with the robot structure, its joint mechanisms, bearings, and heat transfer characteristics. Heating, ventilation, and air conditioning engineer. In this field, engineers design refrigeration systems for making frozen foods or air conditioning and heating systems for businesses and industrial buildings, residential homes, autos, hospitals, and schools. And another simple is, example is teaching. A desire to help mold the next generation of engineers motivates some mechanical engineers to move into academic careers. Engineers in college oversee research activities, manage laboratories, and mentor students. They also write and publish books and technical papers about mechanical engineering. Yeah. Yes.
What courses do mechanical engineering majors take? I can give you some examples. Um, it's calculus-based physics, chemistry, circuit analysis, circuits and electronics, differential equations, dynamics, electrical energy conversions, elements of mechanical design, energy systems, fluid mechanics, and aerodynamics, heat transfer, material science, mechanical design fundamentals, mechanics of materials, principles of design, principles of engineering, solid mechanics, statistics, thermodynamics. Okay. And what other majors are related to mechanical engineering? I can say these related majors, aerospace engineering, applied physics, biomedical engineering, civil engineering, electrical engineering, industrial engineering, materials engineering, metallurgical engineering, mining and mineral engineering, naval architecture and marine engineering, nuclear engineering, robotics technology. In high school, uh, I will talk a little bit school courses, high school uh, courses. In high school, take classes that prepare you for college. Engineers use math and science frequently. Try to take math classes through trigonometry and science classes through physics. You should also consider taking some advanced courses in high school. This includes advanced placements AP and international baccalaureate IB courses if they are available in your school. If you do well in these courses, you may receive college credit for them. Advanced courses can also strengthen your college application. For example, AP Calculus BC, Computer Science, AP Physics C, Biology, AP Chemistry. Yes. Skills for mechanical engineering. You, you need to show a high level of technical and scientific knowledge and the ability to apply this knowledge to practical problems. Giving full attention to what other people are saying, taking time to understand the points being made, asking questions as appropriate and not interrupting in inappropriate times, which means active listening. Using logic and reasoning to identify the strengths and weaknesses of alternative solutions, conclusions, or approaches to problems, which means critical thinking. Using mathematics to solve problems, which means mathematics. Understanding written sentences and paragraphs in work-related documents, which means reading comprehension. Using scientific rules and methods to solve problems means science and we'll talk about abilities right now okay you'll need to show a, a deep ability to arrange things or actions in a certain order or pattern according to a specific rule or set of rules this is information ordering the ability to listen to and understand information and ideas presented through spoken words and sentences, which means oral comprehension. The ability to read and understand information and ideas presented in writing, which means written comprehension. The ability to apply general rules to specific problems to produce answers to make sense. Deductive reasoning and the ability to combine pieces of information to form general rules or conclusions includes finding a relationship among seemingly unrelated events, which means inductive reasoning. Yeah. And work styles. Mechanical engineering requires analyzing information and using logic to address work-related issues and problems. This is analytical thinking. Um, re the job requires being careful about detail and through in completing work tasks. This is attention to detail. Job requires creativity and alternative thinking to develop new ideas for and answers to work-related problems. This is uh, mean innovation. 
mechanical engineering job requires being reliable, responsible, and dependable and fulfilling obligations, which means dependability. A mechanical engineer requires being pleasant with others on the job and displaying a good natured, cooperative attitude. This is cooperation. Job requires being honest and ethical. This is integrity. Job requires being open to change, positive or neg negative, and, and to considerably variety in the workplace. This is adaptability or flexibility together. Job requires persistence in the face of obstacles. This means persistence. Job requires a willingness to lead, take charge, and offer opinions and direction. This means leadership. And mechanical engineering job requires developing one's own ways of doing things, guiding oneself with little or no supervision, and depending on oneself to get things done. This is independence. Yes, the next slide is, it's a fact. 89% of engineers have high levels of job satisfaction. And mechanical engineers earn good salaries with experience and professional qualifications. You could earn a basic salary of around 70,000 pounds as a chartered engineer in UK. And USA median wages is, um, $87,370 annual US uh, information. Please don't forget, salaries vary from company to company, country to country, and some sectors attract high salaries according to the demand. According to demand. Yes, next slide. Evaluate your potential future as a mechanical engineer major by asking questions, asking yourself these questions. Yes, the first one is coming. Okay. Do you have a curiosity about how things work? Have you found yourself taking things apart and uh, take them uh, apart and putting them back together? This is a natural attribute of the mechanical engineer. How are your grades in math and science? If you struggle, choose another specialty. If you do uh, well and ask for more, mechanical engineering might be the right choice. Yes, the next one. Are computer games, mazes, and jigsaw puzzles fun for you? What could be better than doing work you enjoy? And the last question. If you live to discover new or better ways to do things, you're definitely on the right track. These are the sources where the information came. And thank you for listening. See you, bye.